Good morning guys, so I'm gonna start my mini Christmas home tour just in my entranceway and then we'll work our way to the upstairs. So over here I just have um, some faux greenery that I put together in my little milk can with um, stuff I got from Michaels last year on clearance and I, just about everything that you're going to see is from Michaels last year on clearance. And all these are just white picks and everything in here. The only thing I did purchase this year was the pine cones. And then over here, I just have a faux wreath that I got last year, of course. And my other wreath I made in my DIY is actually outside. I forgot to mention that um, living um, items like your greenery and stuff like that, it's best suited outside. So I have my one I made outside on my fence. And then over here, I just have some, um, I have a sweater pillow and then um, a pillow I got last year. And this is really all I did for my entranceway. You're gonna hear an echo because technically we still have our house for sale. So I didn't go too crazy in here. So on my corner unit, I just like to display some things here. So I just have the pictures of my grandparents um, and of course the sign I made. And cute little trees with a Noel sign and some artificial snow. And then I put out this cute little antique village. This belonged to my mother. Um, I've had this for, God, I can't even tell you how long I've had this for. But this is my first year putting it out. And I'm very, very um, leery because it is very fragile. But it is absolutely adorable. Then over on my antique hutch, I just put some uh, greenery. I made um, a garland with some green burlap. And the little grapevine uh, trees I got from the dollar store this year. So these trees, I actually wrap some little fairy lights around. You can't really see them lit up because it's so bright outside. And then my little Santa here. And then I had this sign made by a local vendor that's in this area. She did a great job. I love it. And if I stand back, this is what it's going to look like. So it was still keeping with the wood theme, the woodland theme of um, my Christmas. I just lightened up the colors. Last year I did the buffalo check. This year I'm doing the creams and the whites and everything. 
So this is my pencil tree I bought last year from Michaels. And because my upstairs is so small, I just want a small little tree. I had this little wooden white house. Well, it wasn't white, but it was a little house that lit up. So I painted it white. And my tree skirt is actually a lampshade. Just paint it out. And my bow I did for the tree topper is actually two bows combined to one. And if you stand back, I'll give you a full view of the tree. So that's a skinny tree. And I like it because it works in this area. Now on my table, I just put some bow trees here that you can see with some pine cones. Keeping it very simple on my table because we still do eat on it and I still need to take off the items whenever we need the table. And over here is my kissing ball I have hung up that I made. I posted the video yesterday um, how to make it. It literally took me, I think, not even 10 minutes to do it. It turned out really nice. I love it so much I want to make another one. Then over here in my corner, I always do a little display over here. I just have a little tray with some green burlap wrapped around inside and then I have this little sign from Michaels again last year and then I just put a little tree in here with my candles and then in the evening my little undermount light that I got at the dollar store I just turned that on. And then if you come over here, I just have a couple little trees here. Sorry for the brightness, it's outside. It's on my window ledge. So this is another block sign I made for the for my Christmas decor. And more of the little flow trees. So that's pretty much it for my mini home tour um, because I did not get to do my fall one because we are still listed. Um, I did want to do something for Christmas so I wanted to show you guys what I did do. Um, so if this gives you guys any kind of inspiration um, to decorate your house and you're looking for ideas for a woodland theme, this is kind of what I my version of a woodland theme is so but if you like the videos don't forget to hit that notification bell and hit the subscribe button but most importantly the notification bell because that will let you know whenever i'm uploading videos this week you guys got three videos in a row so i'm going to keep it coming i'm going to do a couple of diys for next week not Christmas related, but more farmhouse related. Um, so if you guys wanna uh, see those videos, be sure to hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day guys, bye.